Well, good day, tubes. How's she hanging? Well, today's funeral. Again, another one, another one, another one. Man, they just won't stop dying. I don't know. I guess that's the way she works. But, uh, anyways, we got the uh, Lauren Dewey out, and um, I was just kind of messing around a little bit down here at the uh, the new bridge project. Um, looks like the one I've already got strung across here. I'm just going to have to drag it over just a little hair bit more. These things probably could have been another three, four foot longer. But, uh, oh man, we're getting pretty long now just for a crazy little bridge. <laughs> but I think still, this is pretty much the narrowest spot. So, but, um... She could, uh, she could come back another foot maybe, uh, do, 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 but where this one is actually, over to there because uh, it sort of drops off. I could probably put a little bit more fill in there, but uh, I thought maybe, uh, maybe I'd stuff a couple of these uh, pieces under and actually those are, that's the way those things landed. I harfed them across the river there and that's where they landed, believe it or not. But anyways, uh, yeah, I'm kind of wanting to, yes. I don't have very good balance. <laughs> so if all of a sudden you guys get wet, you probably know what happened. Um, kind of thinking that this tree was going to be a little bit in the way, but uh, I'm kind of thinking it'll probably be mostly all right. Uh, now, I'm going to have to do some something here anyways, and maybe level this a little bit too, because you can just, well, I don't know if the video is going to catch it, but kind of goes uphill a little hair there so it's going to make her sit kind of weird so we got to kind of do that uh, I guess uh, I don't know might even be all right to uh, put a couple of these fellers right under the beam there too maybe uh, I don't know whether I should put it right down on the uh, on the dirt like that or uh, maybe hoist her a little bit up and uh, put her put those couple of those things right under there it'll also get the, the deck of the thing a bit higher too right so in case we get more big floods coming through here, which I've seen, I've seen her, and uh, she'll kind of maybe clear it a little bit more better. But uh, these things, oh, I think, I think they are treated, but probably not super really good. So they're probably not going to last long. I put them on the dirt, but uh, she'll eventually, I imagine, settle into her own little spot there and uh, be all good and stuff. But I think that's what we're going to have to do is do a little bit of leveling first. Uh, probably wouldn't be a bad idea if I, you know, even put a bit of fill in there to bring this right back up again. And uh, there is actually wood under there. I did throw some kind of logs under there, like you can kind of see a bit there and then there's a couple of sticking out of there too and then they kind of go this way too right so th there is stuff there and they were cedar cedar bits and then i just kind of buried all that in the in in the dirt so um you know i imagine it's probably going to sit for a fairly good long time but uh longer than i'll probably be here anyways but uh i'm just trying to think what to do you know what to do but uh I kind of wouldn't mind dragging this one maybe over here, like I was saying, another whoop, another foot, right? So that'll give us a little more purchase over here. And then maybe I won't have to fill, fill any more there. That might be all right then. But uh, she's a little bit low. <sighs> I can see whoop, just right there too. So we're going to have to put a bucket of stuff or something in there, which is no problem because i got lots of buckets of stuff. So here we go again. It's actually somewhat fairly solid. I don't know if the camera's picking this up, but you can see in there the, the little swirly rings from the pushing pushing the sand and stuff, eh? Might be full of gold down there, maybe. Who knows? Not likely, but, you know, hey, you never know. But uh, I was going to maybe do some of this today, but then this funeral, and then the freaking cement guys come again, which he said is probably going to be the last time. Holy cow. Good. <laughs> Not like I don't like helping them, but, man, oh, man, it takes up a bit of my time, right? So, uh... Anyways, uh, we'll probably maybe get at this maybe tomorrow. I don't think I got anything majorly, hugely planned. No funerals or nothing, but 
kind of want to throw a bucket of stuff in here maybe and then kind of try to level that as best we can and then taper it down again. Want to go just a hair bit wider with these beams. I don't know, maybe four feet apart or something from, you know, this one to over to here. So, which is basically where she starts to downhill. So, I'll have to fire a bunch in there and a little bucket of, bucket of stuff in there, I guess. And then uh, over there, have to like take that one down a little bit by the looks of things. So, but uh, yeah, we'll get all that sorted out. Maybe we'll uh, get dragging this one across tomorrow, maybe ish, and see what happens. I am gonna maybe try to um, park my ATV up there, and uh, oops, sorry. <laughs> if I have to, I can attach to the back of the trailer hitch on that thing to that tree, right low, and then that'll give me a little in case it starts to drag me ahead, which sometimes it will. Um, and then hook the dewey onto there, the metal lifting dewey. <coughs> clamp that on good and then hook my uh, winch thing to that I guess and then drag that right across as far as we can anyways it's probably gonna go whoosh and then drop down and then I'll be screwed I'll have to get the, the big tractor out to lift that but um, yeah, we'll figure that out when we get to her I guess I was thinking too of uh, maybe uh, like stabbing on my GoPro right here facing out so you know you can see it getting pulled across and then kind of followed as you're going along that might be kind of cool should be fairly much safe in there if you know if it falls and crushes it or whatever but uh, what do you think of that I think that'd be a neat idea put the uh, the GoPro in there and then just kind of drag it across and you can kind of see that view of it instead of you know just the camera stuffed here and watching the thing go across that may be kind of cool actually but uh, yeah let me know if you like that idea we can do that for sure but uh, anyways uh, while I was sort of watching the cement guys back there and uh, and uh, waiting for my funeral stuff to come in, which they haven't actually come in yet. I think actually their service just started at one o'clock right now, so they'll be in the next wee while, and then I'll be pretty much screwed for the rest of the afternoon, so hence why I'm not working on the bridge really too much today. But anyways, while I was waiting, we were watching the cement guys back there, I put my uh, big stack of cornerstones all in. It was like up to here. Uh, I still got a couple there because they got wrong name on them. Spelt it wrong, so friggin' sake, say eh? holy cow. Oh well. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so we got those done, uh, nice to get those out of the way, the ground was actually hard this morning, so I'm like, oh, better get those suckers in, so, yeah, but, uh, anyways, uh, I guess that's it for today, uh, I got the mower deck off, I think we're all done mowing now, which is kind of nice, got to think about, uh, actually, I probably could be doing that now, getting these brackets off of here, these hook, hook, brackety things for the mower, and, putting my other ones on so I can hook this feller back on and uh, then we'll be ready to rock for that uh, tires of course have to go on the rear uh, a load of tires on the rear uh, what else what else what else what else uh, probably gonna have to take off this trailer hitch dewey thing here I think oh definitely most definitely because that uh, top of this bracket thing here will be right into her there so that's sort of why I didn't weld that on solid right so We'll uh, have to take that off as well. Put that off to the side so we know where, where she be. And yeah, so I might actually uh, work on this today. Probably won't film it though. I've done this so a few last few years in a row though. So if you want to uh, see how that's done, just look up uh, time to change to snowblower mode or something like that or, or vice versa, time to change to uh, mower mode. Uh, about a year ago roughly, you know, if you look back that far, that's the same exact video, so this doesn't really change much, but uh, anyways, uh, yeah, sounds pretty good. So, I can't think of anything else really happening. It's freaking cold today, I'll tell you that. It's like, whew, minus three or four out here. A little bit chilly, willy, so anyways, uh, um, what else was there? Those tires, the Dewey's on the bracket on the front. Oh, I guess the drive shaft. We gotta take all the mower brackets and stuff. All this crap's gotta come off. Could actually maybe do that right now. So these Dewey's here gotta come off. And drop these lift brackets off. Oh, not when she's up in the air though. Still might not help, I don't know. A little more better, yeah, a little more better. Ah, oh, still got tension on her. There we go. So put those right back in. 
like this. And there's one on the other side. One on the other side, just like the other side. Same kind of deal again. Squash these off. Just like that. There we go. Come on, baby. Oh, wow. Fair bit of wear on these fellers for uh, being a real hard pin. It's actually quite surprising that they wore off that much, but you know, it's a lot of weight there, I guess, uh, on that feller. Man, I cannot do anything with my left hand. Holy cow. And good. <laughs> all right. So all this pretty much comes off here, too. Ah, missing one of my pins, I see. Hmm, one of my clips. See these clips here that keep the thing from rotating? I'm missing one over here. Well, that's not too good, but, uh, hmm. And I uh, can't really do this with one hand because you got to take this all apart in here. And uh, drop basically the, the link thing off here and this bracket, which is hooked to the, the mower lifter dewy there, right? That's got to all come out. And it's got to go actually go. Yeah, I won't be able to do that with one hand. But uh, I will get that all done up here. Get that dragged out of there. And in the garage here, there should be uh, my little other brackets to switch to. I usually hang them up. I usually hang them up. Right up there, these little fellers. I don't know why they did it with this 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 model, but um, my other one I had, you just didn't have to change these brackets over, right? But uh, it's not really too bad once you get you know all the bolts out of here. Yank all these bolts out, and then these uh, other brackets actually go on the outside, which is different again. So yeah, and uh, uh, I guess I could do those now. And I'm kind of using the hitch right now, so I'll have to leave that on for now. And anything else I'm thinking I'm missing? I'm missing or anything? Or I don't think so. I think that might be it. And then rear tires, of course, but that's a freaking job on its own, that one. Holy snapping. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that should do her. And then uh, my uh, lifting bracket thing here has kind of been sitting out here all, all summer, so I'm sure it's fine, but... Uh, Hopefully she didn't seizure nothing up. I kind of doubt it because I actually put a grease fitting in uh, right there. They don't give you anything with this from factory, so it's kind of cruddy. But uh, I'm kind of betting through the uh, through the winter I'm going to have to rebuild probably the, where the front dewy thing goes through here. Because this plow has kind of been kicking its rear end a little bit. I don't think it's really meant to have that much push on her, you know. It's going to eventually just wear that off or something, so we might have to... Uh, reinvent this feller here which you know you could buy another one of these but 2400 bucks believe it or not and i think that's with this hydraulic but not this side one like the power angling it doesn't come with that one in there so that was another like 300 bucks just for that it was freaking ridiculous but uh, we needed to get that when we got the big brush here because uh kind of sort of need it to power angle you know it's sort of nicer than having her pinned in kind of a nuisance that would be but um, yeah so I guess that's probably about it for today uh, this actually I wouldn't mind uh, sort of thinking oh man uh, sometime soon ish uh, look at the stuff off the chipper eh Woo. Uh, where the heck is it oh it's down over here that's right in the impossible place to get to uh, think oh there it is yeah there's a dipstick for checking your uh, uh, hydraulic level which is like how do you get down and oh, sorry how do you get down in there right like really I can't even get my hand down in there or never mind I try to pull a dipstick out It'd be nice to sort of lengthen that little rod a bit there uh, I don't even know if you guys can see down there but you just see it right there that's the little dipstick for checking your 
your level of your transmission fluid and hydraulic fluid and everything's all in one, right? So I wouldn't mind extending that out and I wouldn't mind also maybe changing and cleaning the filters in this. There is, oh, you pull out, let me think now. Pull out this for draining or there's a plug underneath the thing too. Uh, and then you pull out these two bolts and then that whole thing comes out and there's like a cleanable filter in there. Wouldn't mind kind of maybe doing that. Maybe this winter we'll get into that, I imagine. Uh, and then I know there's a couple of filters. There's one there. See the big black filter there? And uh, somewhere under here is another drainer. I can't remember where. It's actually right there. Just below the spliny thingy do yellow on it there. And I think... I think that's the only one. There's also fuel filters here too. I wouldn't mind maybe doing, there's a separator here. And then this is a actual filter. I've never done them, so probably wouldn't be a bad idea. And I can't remember now if I've got one of those in stock or not. Oh, she's dark in here. Can't see nothing. Um, I don't know if that's gonna help, but all but I usually keep all my JD stuff up here. Uh, hydraulic filters for the 110. 2720 inner air filter. That will be a hydraulic for the big feller. I think. Why didn't I mark that? I don't know. Plus oil filters. Uh, probably gonna have to order the... F oh, wait a minute. No, more air filters. Lots of air filters. It's always so dusty, right? I don't see any fuel filters, so I'm gonna have to probably order and go pick them up. 110 spin on filter. I don't know if that's the same one or not. It's for the 110, but the oil filters on this thing are actually the same. Oh. Oh. Well, if you can read the Japanese on her, woo. There should be a part number, you think, somewhere. I think that's the same one. Let's go see if there's. Japansy on that one too. Japanese Japansy. Uh, oh, I imagine there probably is some 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 Japansy on it too. Oh yeah, that's the same one I'd say. That's good. So we got one of them, and this is a cleanable one. So you can just take well, let her. I usually let her run dry or run out. And there's still you no know, residual in there, but uh, basically that, you can see the start of the filter right there. And the rest is all like a separator dewy. So actually, kind of looks like there's maybe stuff in there right now. Very interesting. Well, we'll do that. We'll do that up in a bit maybe. That's interesting. I don't really want to get it all out now because you get all messy and stuff, right? So. But uh, yeah, that's some upcoming stuff, I guess. Uh, not too much else that I can think of on this that'll need done. Probably should do the antifreeze in it, but uh, it gets off the other side here. It's probably all right. Uh, hang on a sec here. What's going on here? Open the dewey here. Urgh. There. Uh, yeah, there's the bottle there. She's about halfway. It's actually used a bit, or lost a bit, or evaporated a bit. I had that little black line on there, ooh, in the spring there, I think, so. She's, she's evaporated probably a little bit, but, uh, we've got, uh, 584 hours on it, so probably not a bad idea to do it. Drain that out and, uh, topple her back up again. It's still warm, I better not open that. I had her going today, so... But uh, I should have gave her a bath before I uh, shut the water off, but too late now. Oh well, can't do much about her. But uh, we're actually almost getting close to the next oil change too, 584. So yeah, we'll be having to do our, our oil change soon. So maybe we'll do the hydraulic as well then too. We'll get her in overnight and stuff because it'll probably be cold by then, I imagine. Cold enough I don't want to work outside, right? So get her inside where she's warm and then uh, she should be good to go. But anyways, I guess that's it for today. They'll be in a little bit here for the funeral stuff, so we'll uh, talk at you later. 
And hopefully tomorrow we can work out a little bit at the bridge there. Maybe we can get the second dewey strung across and then uh, if we really get really get at her we might be able to bang on a couple of boards too maybe with uh, the uh, ram set hammer thingy there so but anyways thanks for watching today uh, we'll talk at you tomorrow and stiff and uh, have a good night and we'll talk at you tomorrow